You've just won the third leg of your fourfold multiple. One race to go. With Betfair, you can now cash out on racing multiples. Do you? Don't you? Join Betfair, download the Sportsbook app and get a free bet up to £25. Cash out. Do you? Don't you? Hi everybody, day two of Royal Ascot and the rematch, the head-to-head -head between al Khazim and Camelot. On one side, the Camelot supporters say, well, he got beaten in the Tattersalls in Ireland, but Aidan won't have had him absolutely cherry ripe for that. This is the day. And then the anti-Camelot lot who say, well, he might have been a bit overrated last year, etc. al Khazim beat him fair and square. I have no doubt that we'll see an improved performance from Camelot today. But I was down at Roger Charlton's last week and Roger said this is a horse who is definitely better than he was and he's got a turn of foot. He went to Ireland pretty confident he could beat Camelot and I see no reason why he shouldn't do so again, though I expect them to come for Camelot in the market. In the opening Jersey Stakes, a really hot Jersey Stakes this. There's been a word for Garswood for some weeks. Our great man at the Racing Post, Tom Aran, is a huge fan of this horse. And I was talking to him yesterday. He's back home in his wheelchair for the next six weeks after a horrendous accident a few weeks ago. He's absolutely convinced we'll see the real Garswood today. And he said to me, in the guineas, just a lot of little things conspired against him, and after they'd gone a furlong, he was watching the race thinking, put him back in the stalls and have another go. It might work out better. So he is very keen on Garswood, and he's very thick with the Fahy Yard. Rides out there a great deal. Obviously against him, Gale Force 10 over from Ireland. That's strong for money this morning. And I put in a word for Henry Candy's music master, second to Dundonnell in the King Charles, the second stakes at Newmarket. Well, Four horses who've won or been second in that King Charles II have come on to win the jersey since the beginning of the century. As for the Hunt Cup, well, there's all, several plunges going on this morning. The ones I'm interested in, I think probably Fury will run a very solid race for William Haggis. The rest of the card gets more difficult as it goes on. David Watchman's horses are in very good form. Duntle is well fancied. And don't rule out hint of a tint in the last here today, a race he won last year. The weather set fair for the next few hours, but the forecast is for torrential rain tonight and indeed rain tomorrow. It's coming from France. What did the French ever do for us? Tomorrow's Gold Cup could be run and testing ground, but I'll update you on that first thing in the morning.